Ali, welcome to the video section of the drawingfactory.com. Today we're talking about basics of digital inking a drawing using Adobe Illustrator CS4. Now I've um, um, I'm going to use this drawing of Donald Duck to illustrate how to digitally ink it, and I've just opened this. Um, this is a scan of the drawing that I've done with my scanner, and I've just opened the uh, scan drawing into Illustrator and as you can see here um, Illustrator places the uh, scan drawing into a defined layer so the first thing that I want you to do um, um, when you're gonna digitally ink your drawing is to uh, double click on this layer and turn this layer into a template like that it's that easy um, and we will leave the uh, dim images to 50%. Uh, when you transform uh, drawing a layer into a template, what happens is basically that um, Illustrator is transforming that um, that layer is is is, lo is locking. It's basically is locking that layer and is also uh, reducing the uh, increase, reducing the opacity of the layer so that you can draw on top of it without being disturbed too much by the drawing. Um, the tool we're going to use today for this basic introduction to uh, digital inking will be the brush tool. The brush tool is this little tool here that I'm just clicking on and the brush tool um, at the moment um, I'm not able to use it because the first thing that you want to do after you open the image in Illustrator is to create a new layer, a new layer that we can, that we will call the uh, um, inking layer, and this layer will sit on top of our drawing, and we will actually draw and ink our drawing in that layer. So we go into the layer tab and click here on the right and create a new layer. Oh, I'll do that again because you probably haven't seen it. Um, so, and I will create a new layer here. And this new layer will be our inking layer. But you can call it whatever you want. And click OK. Now, as you can see here, um, the layer 1, which is the layer where the drawing is, is locked. So, if, not, if I click on it, I can't accidentally draw on it. Um, it's impossible, and the inking layer will be the layer where I'll be, will be drawing. Um, when you do that, in fact, what happens is that um, Illustrator um, creates a blank brush. So basically, you will have to create um, a proper brush to do the inking. In fact, if you go on the um, filling. Uh, tab there will be no filling and the basic um, brush will have a black uh, color of the stroke and in fact there are no more available color because you need to create an actual new brush and to create a new brush you need to go into the uh, um, brush uh, tab and click on the pop-up button uh, option pop up button on the right top and select either an um, um, open a brush library or create a new brush which it is exactly what we're going to do now so we're clicking on create a new brush and we will select a new calligraphic, calligraphic brush okay um, there are a few options you want to look at the um, this calligraphic brush you can leave the name of the brush as calligraphic brush number one or you can change it to whatever name you want and you can change the angle roundness and diameter so for this particular drawing I'm gonna select a diameter of five points and I'm gonna leave it rounded and I'm not gonna change the angle um, the roundness of this um, brush will be 100%. If I change the roundness, I can change the roundness, roundness by changing this number here, or I can just click and drag here, and I can make the brush more elliptical. But I'm going to use a round brush for this drawing. And the very important thing that you want to set up in this option menu is the uh, 
pressure. As you can see here, now you have a fixed diameter. But if you're using, so if you're using a mouse for this drawing, it's fine. You you don't need to change this. But if you have a, um, a graphic tablet, you want to change these to pressure. Um, so now we've enabled the ability uh, for Illustrator to recognize the pressure, but still we need to do um, another little step to be able to actually change the size, the diameter of our brush while we're drawing, which is we need to change the variation. So we need to specify how much we want the uh, size of the uh, brush to change uh, with pressure. So if the variation is set to zero, is not going to change. But if the variation is set to one, two, three, four point, as you can see here, you've got a variation from the basic diameter, which is four point, to plus and minus four, which means that when we apply pressure to the brush, it will increase, uh, Illustrator will increase the diameter by four points, and when we decrease the pressure, it will decrease by four points. So, um, I'm going to use this setup for now, and if needs be, we'll change it later. Um, so now we have our brush, and we can close this. And um, now you see that the little the little tool has changed, and in fact now um, has the shape of a brush. In fact, I can draw with it, and as you can see here. By changing the pressure of my stylus, I can change the diameter of my brush. Um, now, before we start um, inking this drawing, we need to talk about a very important characteristic of the two very important characteristics of the, the brush tool. In order to open up the brush tool uh, setup, we need to double click on this icon. And by double clicking on the brush icon, it will open up the paint brush tool options. The paint brush tool options has a um, quite a fair amount of features that you can uh, change, but I want you to focus on the tolerances options here, which are two. We have a fidelity slider and a smoothness slider. Now I'm going to show you how to change these values and how they will affect your. Um, your drawing, your 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 inking. Um, so um, first of all, let's define fidelity. So fidelity is here. Fidelity is uh, controls how far you have to move your mouse or stylus before Illustrator adds a new anchor point to the path. Um, let me explain what that means. So if I'm if I draw. Let's, let's set fidelity to 0.5, and I'm drawing like a straight line. Now, if we selected that, that line, you can see here that illustration.